Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful Today's video is going to be my empties for the month of June. I have not as much as I usually have, but I do have some empties to show you guys. This video probably won't be as long as they usually are, but that's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and jump right in. So I'm just gonna be pulling from the basket right here because it's honestly not that much stuff, but the only candle that I finished up this month is in Strawberry Pound Cake. And I absolutely adored this candle. It was in my project uh, wax and it was in there for one, two, one two three four months um and then i finished it up it was so good it burned amazingly i got this at candle day in the winter um so i really didn't start burning it until a couple of months ago whenever i started really using it but so delicious i loved it so much and then i do have a few other like home fragrance things so i did finish off a car fragrance refill last month I want to say it was strawberry pound cake and then I just put in a watermelon lemonade so that's in my car right now and then I did finish off two wax melts I finished off sugared berries I was using this um, in my warmer at work I have like a little plug-in warmer um, and this smells really good it's like nice and fresh and fruity and I actually liked that it wasn't super strong like you probably could use it just fine in a bedroom but it definitely wouldn't throw in anything open like an open concept or a living room or anything um, but I really loved it for my office because I don't like super strong scents there for work. And then I also finished up a Sonoma confetti birthday cake. And this one, it was pretty good. It definitely smelled like icing. And I used this one again at work. And um, I did notice a little discoloration with the wax on the plastic. I don't know what that means. So let me know what that means down below, guys. I don't, is that like a bad thing? I don't know. But I used it up within like a few months that I bought it. So um that's those and then i also finished off two wallflower bulbs i think one was peppermint brownie yeah peppermint brownie is this one uh it's literally from 2013 or something very old and then this one was thanks and giving <gasps> thanks and giving it was so yummy we had this in the bathroom probably not the best bathroom scent but it was so good um and definitely we'll get it if it comes out again this upcoming fall. Definitely gonna get it in a candle and a wallflower and anything they have it in. It was amazing, such a good like caramely scent. And then right now we have these two going in the warmers downstairs. I have Merry Mimosa in the bathroom. This is sparkling champagne, red apple slices, and iced sugar crystals. And then Snowy Peach Berry is going in um, our kitchen. And this one is sweet peaches, tart cranberry, and sugared musk. And I just picked these two up at SAS and they're both a dollar each. So really happy about that, <laughs> already using them. Um, my wallflower collection is very small right now, which is great. Um, we'll just stay on Bath and Body Works, I guess. This is the, not the last of the stuff, but I did finish off three pocket backs last month. Um, vanilla coconut, this was in my purse. Somebody loves you, um, buttercream buttercream cupcake vanilla coconut was really good by the way um this one was in my bag at work it was okay and then raspberry tangerine was also i think this one was in my car so that's good finished those off and then the last bath and body works item i finished was a fresh lemonade hand soap we had this in our bathroom downstairs it was in my project use it up so it took one two three months for us to finish which is about usual for us so that's it for Bath and Body Works. I do have one more body care item. I have the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. I have it in the papaya scent. It actually started to go bad on me, so I just like started using this on my body to finish it up and got it finished. Not my favorite. They say it's good for eczema and stuff, but I honestly didn't notice a difference. I bought this for eczema. It didn't really do anything for me, so not gonna buy that again. Um, I have a few skincare things, so I finished don't mind my mom she's just loading the dishwasher in the background so sorry <laughs> um i have this sheet mask from um tony moly the hemp sheet mask i love these sheet masks i don't know if they do much for my skin but they just feel really nice and so i enjoy them <laughs> another skincare item is the beat shield um from crave beauty and this was a um sunscreen it's supposed to be like fb spf 50 uh, but they discontinued it so can't buy it again but i really liked it um, and then I also finished off the Innisfree Lip Sleeping Mask. I got this from TJ Maxx actually for like four bucks. And it was so good. Let me smell it again. 
yeah, it was so good. I loved it. I love, 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 loved it. It only took me like a few months to use it up too. I used it so much. So really, really good. Highly recommend if you find that. A couple random things. I finished off two Seche Vite, um, the base coat and the top coat. They just got kind of clumpy. Um, they got really thick. And so I just bought two new ones, but definitely recommend Seche Vite. Um, I feel like it does make your nails dry a little faster. Um, so that's that on those. And then one skincare item I forgot, sorry. The NYX Micellar Water. This was literally like four bucks off of Amazon. Totally recommend and NYX is cruelty free. This was really good. So definitely gonna rebuy this. I have a Micellar Water that I'm finishing right now, but this was so good. So for four bucks, absolutely. I have a random item that my parents actually finished up and they absolutely loved it. So this is the Suave Essentials Exfoliate Coffee and Coconut Body Wash. It says compared to Bath and Body Works. I don't know what fragrance this would be in Bath and Body Works, um, but oh my God, it smells so good. I think it would be similar to the um, coffee one from last year probably, but oh, it smells amazing. And they usually just get the coconut, or no, they usually get the shea butter body wash. Like they are basic, they just get the shea butter body wash. That's what they've been using for like the past 15 years, I think. And by accident, my mom picked this up and they finished it off in like, two weeks, less than two weeks, it was gone. Like they loved it. So if you guys are looking are looking for like a coffee kind of thing, I might actually go ahead and get one of these because I've been thinking about getting a coffee one. I wonder if this is similar to the one from, um, what's that brand? I can't think of it off the top of my head, but I'll put it right here. I wonder if it's similar to that one because I was really thinking of buying that. So highly recommended by my parents. If you're looking for a coffee scrub wash, really good, it does can confirm it smells really good. Um, and then I have a few hair products and that's the last of the stuff that I have, you guys. It's really not that much. Um, I finished off the Joyco Moisture Recovery Shampoo. This is so good. If you have a problem with your scalp, like if you have dandruff or you have like flakes, I think I have psoriasis on my scalp because it's like plaques that I get. This was a lifesaver. And I got this from TJ Maxx for $7.99. They have it at TJ Maxx a lot, but I couldn't find it to repurchase it. So I repurchased it at Ulta in like the huge giant size. It was like 35 bucks, it's a lot, but I really don't care because this is so good. This is like my new holy grail. And thank you to my friend Delaney for recommending it because this changed my hair. This is so good. So if you have scalp issues, I highly recommend this, but make sure you like look for it at TJ Maxx first because I literally bought it. And the week later, after I'd already opened it, of course, I found it at TJ Maxx. So, but this is just the shampoo. I use shampoo and conditioner in this line. So, so good. Another thing that has changed my hair is the Love Beauty and Planet Sulfate Free Shampoo Scrub. So I'll alternate between these two. I'll do this shampoo and conditioner for one of the washes. And then the next time I wash my hair, I'll use this scalp scrub and a hair mask. So that's just like my usual hair routine. But this scalp scrub, I'm telling you, if you have problems with your hair, even if you don't, this is just good to like get product buildup out of your hair too. It's very messy, don't get me wrong, because it has little charcoal beads. I don't know if you can see that at the bottom. It has charcoal beads or like, I guess it's charcoal. Yeah, it's little things of charcoal in it and it's very messy in your shower, but it's so worth it to me. And I have one of those little scalp scrubber brushes. So I'll put this on, rub it in and then do the scalp scrubber. It's heavenly and it works like a charm. So highly, highly, highly recommend this as well if you have problems with your scalp. Um, so that's everything for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and if you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below and I will see you guys in my next video.